This is one of my favorite dishes to make. We're gonna take a little ball of beef, we're gonna put it on a tortilla, and we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna smush it, completely flattening it out onto a piping hot pan. Once it starts to be a little cooked, we're gonna actually flip this bad boy over. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Then we're gonna go ahead and put it on a taco rack, just like this. And we've got the other one that we cooked up, we're gonna put on as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some cheddar cheese. We're gonna put a little bit in the middle of each one, just like this. This is gonna be so good, you guys. Now we're gonna take some lemon. We're gonna take a toothpick, put it down the front of the lemon, go in and out a few times. Now watch this. Take the lemon and you can just squeeze that onto the beef. And we're gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna take some of these multicolored carrots and we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle those on very nicely, just like this. Of course, what hamburger is not complete without some pickles? So we got these pre-sliced pickles. They go great on sandwiches and tacos. So we're gonna go ahead and throw one pickle on each burger. Burger taco. I don't know about you, but I love spinach on my burgers. So we're gonna take some of this fresh spinach. Not too much. We're gonna kind of rip this up, put a few spinach leaves on there, just like this. Okay. And the stove is actually keeping these warm because of the radiant heat coming up. Set these to the side real quick. We're gonna come in with a little cup and we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce. So to make this sauce, we're gonna have a base of ketchup. So we're gonna take this red gold, we're gonna squeeze about, eh, I'd say about a fourth of a cup of red gold tomato sauce in there. Then we have this distilled white vinegar. We're gonna do just a splash of the vinegar. Of course we have world spice garlic, so this stuff is great. We're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that garlic, squeeze it in there. Then we have some of this habanero sauce for a little heat. Boom. And of course we got that mayonnaise. So go ahead and put a little bit of your mayo in there. And of course we gotta put some relish in this sauce. So a little relish. And remember that line that we used earlier that I told you to set to the side? We're gonna shake it up and watch this. Squeeze a little lime juice in there, boom. Mix this up, combining all that goodness together. And once it looks kinda like this, we are ready to move the tacos back over. The taco burgers, and we are gonna actually take the sauce and put a little bit on this one. Okay, a little bit on this one. And they are almost ready to eat. So there you go, your very own taco burger it looks amazing this is something super easy to make that anybody can do if you learned anything today please let me know and also i would love to hear some of the most amazing cooking hacks that you guys have so let me know down below cheers mm. this is so good you guys you have to try this